Greetings, Commanders! My name is Melt, and welcome to server 868. Yep, this is home of ARG's Ehapin, Adrian, a uh, Russian player, very prominent Russian player, pretty well known. Also home of USG and WWS. So welcome to another episode of Pimp My Art. Hi. So you wanna be a player? But you weren't too smart You gotta hit that up To get a pink powder Wasted 69 from the guild WWS contact me and says Melt, I love the channel, I love what you do I think the best part about this game Is where I'm at now It's not about spending, it's not about rising to the top It's playing with my friends I said, okay, well what do you got in store for us? He says, well I'm the kind of guy that's been there. I've done that. I've been to big fights. I've lost big armies. I've been zeroed. I've rebuilt. And thank God for Pete Contest and a great family guild that I'm still playing. And he said thanks to me as well, but I don't like to give my own shout outs. But I think what's great about this episode of Pit My Arc is it kind of puts a, a, a spotlight back on what this game is all about. Yeah, we like our big notable players. We like our big spenders who you know, spend a lot of money and keep the game going. But this game really is the heart of it is players that like each other right it's family guilds players that play together and if it wasn't for these great social contracts or communications or i sound like a robot trying to explain how people like talking to each other listen people like inter interacting with each other this game is a very good system of allowing for that kind of system because you can send resources and receive resources and buff yourself up and and push other players um wasted is the kind of guy that has lately been busy right getting closer to christmas time uh he's his work schedule is tightening up so he spends his time farming resources playing peak contests and sending resources out to the players that are doing what their guild does best and apparently that is just harass the crap out of arg so uh that's what we're doing today shout out to viking love uh had to double check that it is Viking love. What is the what's the difference between normal love and Viking love? And Colonel Hogan, as well as the rest of the guild, he says you guys are just a great group of people. They have like four line chats going. Uh, everyone's very helpful, very supportive, and all the toxic players are pretty much gone now. Of course, there are some surprises, right? This isn't going to be a massive arc. It's forty six million. Uh, he says there are some fun things to find. First, being his commander. I told him don't spoil it. I want to catch it live on the video. So here we go. Let's find out what kind of main he is and see what gear he needs. He says he's having trouble with fixing out the gear and balancing it out. So I'm just looking at this lineup here and I'm thinking, uh, Elf's a good main, Reinhardt's a good main. I'm not a great main. I don't. I mean, Reinhardt's a great main for peak. But Medusa, Gilly, or Chief? Oh, God. Is he a Chief main? You think he's a Chief main? Because I always talk crap about Chief being not nearly as good as Golem. And Chief just doesn't have... I mean, he has a lot of guaranteed hit. But he doesn't hit like Golem does. Is it a Chief main? 117,000. That is probably a chief main. 46 million power. Wow, 67,000 on Reinhardt, though. And 20,000 on Medusa. So a respectable amount of leadership really spread around. Let's take a look at that again. 70,000 on Reinhardt for the Rogers Killer. 20,000 on Elf for the Infantry Killer. 120k on Chief, which is your offense buster. Okay, 20,000 on Medusa. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I kind of don't like Medusa having so much leadership. I think if you're going to run Chief, run Chief. If you're going to run Medusa, run Medusa. Don't run both. One or the other, not both. Elf's okay. She's more of the defense version of the Walker Commander. And if you're not going to be running a full metal, then a Reinhardt is good for breaking Rogers as well. So, uh, wow, nice gear. 24, 30, 29, 32, 30. Really good gear. Um, really not so good gear on this chief. What's going on here? What are you doing with this? Why is there accuracy weapons on a guaranteed hit skill commander? Interesting. And then accuracy pants on a guaranteed hit skill commander. How strange is this build? Am I reading this wrong? Or is he the wrong gear on? Because all of his best gear is kind of half on Reinhardt, half on... I don't even know what the other half... Where's, where's the rest of his good gear? Elf's not even wearing full gear. Gilly's got some accuracy gear. Oh, this gear is a mess. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Okay, all right. So getting into small skirmishes in the battle in the capital battles is one thing. You know that's a fun thing to do. It's hard to get into the big battles if been if you've been zeroed and you're not a tier ten account. Now, I do believe this is a tier nine account. We're gonna get back to that uh, that gear and just give it a quick rundown, just so people that are having similar questions at least get something educational out of this video. Oh yeah. Okay. So he looks like he's working on his way to. T oh man, infantry six, airship seven. Ugh. Research is a bit messed up here. Listen. Wasted. Stop 
wasting your resources on the wrong research. Pick one and go. Looks like you like the Walker thing? Go with it. Honestly, Airship is so played out. Reinhardt main's kind of fun, but I think you should get your... You got three good Walker mains. Pick one. Go with it. I don't know what your troops look like yet, but uh, it looks like you're reaching the second fork. So, uh... Oh, we got to make a decision soon. We got to make a decision soon. What about the basic research? Is that all caught up at least? Basic research is all maxed. Beautiful. Okay, so you can choose anything you want there. All right, so let's get back to this main and this gear. Now, if you're going to go with the chief main, which is okay for peak contest, really not great, uh, you still have to run Leo, and you still need Titans. And you have Titans, right? I can see it. There's a Titan. There's a Titan. So... Yeah, man. Take your Titans, put them on Chief. Give him Leo and Taurus. Plus, he's got this 40% Rampage with good guaranteed hit damage with some Anor stats from Leo. He's going to hit really hard with old Tier 12, not the new Tier 12. Um, Pants-wise, get rid of these Voltars. You have accuracy. These are for really, I mean, people that want to always hit because of that Tier 12 damage. If it was more of a tank build, like Full Metal might rock a Voltars. But with your 40% 40, 40 guaranteed hit on Chief, Stop messing around with this stuff. Either grab damage or grab tankiness. I think Maguel is a great choice here. Uh, but because you're going to be doing peak contests, Fearless has the HP. You're going to get a lot of damage out of that. And damage reduction is great for the survivability. Uh, so either one of those would be fine. Probably Fearless being better. Chess piece, Shadow's great for the HP, as well as the resistance weakened and defense. Uh, but you can also get away with Armor of the Tyrant. The the, the airship, you know, uh, the Gilly Vega meta is starting to kind of fall off just because of how good Elf and Rogers and Reinhardt are against them. Uh, but you have a level 30 Invincible. That dodge is not to be ignored. That's a lot of dodge to have there. So you might want to rock that instead. And it's already level 30. So that's what I would probably do there. So double Titan, Titan, uh, Magiwell Pants or Fearless, whatever. And then uh, chest, ah, chest piece, go with the, the Walker chess piece only. And then for the helmet, you've got a, a Devil's Touch, which is fine on Reinhardt. Good choice for Reinhardt there. Uh, you probably want to get HP or damage here, so Valkyrie would be fine. But, you know, during this event, this event right now, which probably well, might be over by the time this goes live, uh, you can get that Walker helmet right here for really cheap. 120 boiling, 120 super equipment chests, farm some tiles, uh, spin that wheel a few times, do the dailies, and you can have yourself the nice helm for chief there. And that'd be a proper gear, proper build. Taurus, Leo, and then um, I, you, you don't have to worry about the third and fifth piece gems yet. But third piece would be, you know, the... the uh, Cassiopeia, just for that three-piece set. Um, that would be a really nice build. Because right now what you got here is way too much accuracy. You have guaranteed hit already. You don't miss. You don't ever miss, which is great. But that's what you're relying on your two gym sets and skill for. So you're kind of throwing... I mean, strength and weaken on the helm for what? A little bit of attack? This is a mess here. you got to get rid of this. Run all your strength and weaken gear on the same set if you have it. Uh, not partially. Not here or there. Um... Yeah, I didn't want to go into the details on how that can be used for de dodging. It, it, just leave that as it is. Reinhardt, on the other hand, this looks like a pretty proper build for Reinhardt. A little bit of damage, a little bit of tankiness. I uh, really don't like the gems here. You really got to land hits in order to... Now, now, forcing your opponents to miss is good because Reinhardt's thorns will still damage. That's why he's running the Aquarius here. Aquarius makes your opponent miss, which is nice, but everyone's running guaranteed hit now. So, honestly, just get back to Scorpio Gemini. you got to land hits on Reinhardt to uh, to get that tear space damage. Otherwise, you're relying solely on your Thorns damage, which is painful. Now, he also heals when he dodges as well. So, I don't totally hate it, but at the end of the day, you need to, to land guaranteed hits. Because there's a lot of HP here that is just missing out on a ton of damage. So, Shadow in the chest piece, Fearless in the pants. Uh, Eternal Barrier Titan's fine, or Double EB is fine as well, because you're going to be relying on Terra Space damage anyway. And then just for the weapons, you know, go Survivability. You don't need attack damage at all. You're going to be relying on Terra Space damage, which doesn't re re take attack. Just accuracy in the weapons or crit. Eh, really, just accuracy. Yeah, accuracy, accuracy in the weapons. And then uh, Double Eternal Barrier. And then Devil's Touch is fine. I think Penetration does work with Terra Space. So uh, I think we need to double check that. Check the comments below. Terra Space and Total Penetration. I think it does. Uh, crit's not that important. Like I said, you're going to be relying on tear space damage. I don't believe it crits. Does not crit. So, yeah, a little bit of a mix-up in the build here. But, you know, that's not really your forte. You do say you like playing peak contests, so definitely make those adjustments. Um, but, you know, that's... Uh-oh, uh, uh -oh, we got guild chat. <laughs> that's right. You can't say pimp because it gets, uh, gets uh, spell-checked. 
But uh, that's what I wanted to show off as far as the commanders and the gear is concerned. Fix those things. Get yourself a decent Reinhardt, decent, decent chief main. That is cool, man. That is that is two very unique main commanders and totally functional. Reinhardt is a good main. I don't talk about him a lot because he didn't do very well going into Season 8. But at the end of Season 8, he, he was a great answer to uh, Rogers. And he still could do damage to full metal a little bit he got pretty wrecked actually no he gets pretty wrecked elf can do better against full metal because she can curse him but in general the defense comms get wrecked by uh, uh full metal so yeah reinhardt gets kind of beat down too probably worse than rogers for being honest okay and remember guys if you are members of wws uh mobilization every weekend at least get 30,000 points. 15,000 a day. All you gotta do is the first 10, 15 quests. It's super easy. You don't have to spend gold. Get 30,000 a week. Get back in the top 20. You guys apparently are doing really well in that. And then also, if you see any ARG tiles, clear them. And if you see them in capitals, clear them. Have a good time. All right. My name is Mel. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, should we plug subscription? Subscribe in the bottom below. And hit the bell icon so you know when the next movie video is coming out. We do five videos a week. Yeah. All right. See you tomorrow.